Oh no, not tea. Actually, we are coughing. Aren't we? Coffee. Right. Fags. Fags. <coughs> Just get my half the lung there. <laughs> We've got the Daihatsu back in for its finals, haven't we? We have. We have. We so have finished finish that off. We have moved the Bearded Explorer's Mercedes back outside because he, Colin, you have buggered off to France again without giving me a radiator. It's been sat in here for three weeks? Two weeks. Two weeks. Ready for a radiator, but we're not moaning. No, no. This is week three. Week three. Mm. We're fine. We've pushed it out there now. We have. We'll wait for him to We've pushed it into the hedge. It. Anyway, that's not moaning. No. So what I have got in is obviously the nicely restored, does need a cut of polish. Mm-hmm. T1N with El Nouveau recovery bed on the back of it, or El Nouveau to us recovery bed on the back of it. So I have come up with a brilliant plan. Tell us about your brilliant plan. Well, the brilliant plan is that we need to lift the body back. One, I have abandoned the crane idea on this lorry. I'm glad you've abandoned that crane idea. I did think just carrying a lolly slit stick in a packet of wrestlers. Ah, so what I've come up with is another brilliant and cunning crane based on plan. Because what I don't need, I don't need a recovery truck with a crane on it. No. Really? Because no. you can drag stuff on it. Mm -hmm. But I do have a 4.6 ton aluminium flatbed LT hovering above the Capri. Yes. So are we going to slide the body back a bit, whops a crane on the LT, then the LT will, I reckon the LT will weigh two and a bit tons with the crane and the cradle. Flatbed crane truck. Perfect. Ta-da. And I'm going to paint that the same colour as this because I've got loads of this left. So I'm going to have matching. You're going to paint that the same colour as this? Or, or this the same colour as that? the same colour as that. <laughs> so just, just, man's tired. <laughs> I know. I'm, taking for th I'm not going to take advantage. advantage of it. No. So what we need to do, I think we'll have to shove this into the right place. We need to lift this here body up. Yeah. I'm going to go and get the camera and position it huh. Yep. So that the people can understand from a different aspect of where you're coming from. What we're going to need to do. Let me tea. It's here. Ah, oh, that's why I've lost it, because it's there. So to get this body to fit, it came off of one of these trucks. So the chassis mounts, perfect. Yep. It needs to come forwards that much. As I keep, tell as I keep telling the wife, yeah, 12 that, inches. that is 12 inches. Yes. Yeah, yeah, it's a man's 12 inches. <laughs> We need to move forward at least, at least the 12 inches. 12 inches, yep. Um, but what we're going to need to do first is these rails are bent. Uh, it's not the body. The body's perfect. Yep. We need to obviously work on the wobbly wobbly. Fly, wibbly wobbly and make nicer brackets than the crap ones that are on there already. Yeah. So we'll plasma out some, some steel corners to stop it doing the floppies. We don't need to cut it up and put a crane on it. Nope. So what we're going to do is lift it off using the two post. Beautiful. And then we've got a cut, a lump of chassis off. So we need to figure that out now because we're going to have to chop it and then basically plate the, uh, and then we can squirt some stuff down, um, some rust inhibitor down the inside of the chassis and some wax oil or some Lano guard or some chassis wax or something. And then we need to plate the end of the chassis because I'm not leaving it open because that looks upset me. So we're not just chopping the ends off? Well, we've got to chop. No, we got. I think we've got a cut before the rear panel. I think we've got a cut just after the spring hangers. Yeah. We need to work out where the last body mount is and then cut behind that. What? Because that light butt panel that would be like standard for a tip or a loot or anything is no use to us. We need to get rid no. of that. So what I was thinking, are we, are we chopping this off here? So that bracket comes off, that comes off, uh, and that should allow that to come To be come honest, in I'd love to that. say I'd looked at it. Mm. I reckon we'd get away with it, you know. I reckon we'd go away with it. What, yeah. cut the outer? Just, just cut the outer bit off. Yeah. So we cut the bracket off here. Zip, rip typical, saw through that. Typical, because I haven't painted that, but... Oh, do you want to paint it before we cut it off? No, well, I was going to paint it. <laughs> I, I was, I, well, I didn't paint it, because I was going to cut it off. <laughs> so anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to push, lift this body off and trim. Yeah, we leave the back panel then. Yeah. Well, and um, I'll, I'll have to paint it some time. Which leaves the tyre carrier in place. That'd be oh, handy. Deal. Yeah, it leaves the tyre carrier in place. Basically, yeah, we just rips all the two outers off. We yeah. start there. If it doesn't work, we just keep chopping bits of truck off. Until, <laughs> until we get to about here. Be fine. Yeah, yeah, and then the wheels <laughs> will fall off. And it'd be great. So then we need to lift the body up. Once we're now, we know where we're going to chop it off. Yeah. Lift the body up and I to make our minds to whether we... Because they bent all the mounts. Or some of them are a bit dangly. There's one over there that's pointing downhill. Okay. Um, 
And then we can show these nice people the underside of the body. And then we're either going to have to plate the beaver. That is a body term. It's nothing to do with girl stuff. Wrong ah. beavers, all right? Um, we either alley weld the join, but I think it's broken before, so I think there's a fair chance it'll break again because it's obviously quite weak on that welded joint. So we just drill. Uh, we could drill it, bolt it, play it, weld it, double clamp it. We'll work that out once mm -hmm. we've lifted it up in there. Yeah. So I suppose the best bet would be to shuffle the recovery truck forwards mm -hmm. onto time lapses and lift the body off of it. And then we can have a look under the body because I've never looked at the bottom apart from... No, because I was driving a forklift, so I didn't stand underneath it when it was wobbling around over the place. Okay, so up in the air and observe the bottom. And we need to observe the bottom of the body, and then we can work from there with our plan. Yeah. Cunning plan. Sweet. Right. I've got to unbreak. Ooh. Obviously, they have broken that. Mm -hmm. Now, I reckon that's actually a join anyway. And it's yeah. got some proper bird poop there. Oh, so that means oh, about the grinding that's... out, bending back that way, but it is only the aluminiums. Yeah. Um, they have dented that bit there, they've bent. And obviously Ooh, this whole yeah, they've rail... Snapped, they've snapped that snap yeah, on this clean side off, as well. Same as last time, the other side. So these, they're all a bit... These want taken out and battering in a vice. And they put a whopping great big dinger in here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I think the back here has survived. The beaver's all right. Yeah. Um, he's only very slightly... Because that's because he's twisted through here. Yes, yeah, because basically someone's hit it with a forklift and bent the chassis rails. But it does look like some quality floating bits of aluminium. Oh, that's a strengthening plate, wasn't it? I don't believe it was a strengthening plate. It wasn't doing very much. So there are two two ways of doing this. One is to. Oh, they did weld this strengthening plate on the inside, didn't they? Call that one when they were welding it. Yeah, you can see by the weld they didn't have the heat up. <laughs> no Quite enough. Penetrate yeah. it. But everything else apart from this doesn't look too bad. Yeah. So I'm half tempted, seeing as it's a broken ear, possibly to take the front, undo the bolts, because they've bent. Yeah. I think we took the 17s out. We can actually pull these rails out completely. I don't know whether to or not. I would the... probably leave them in situ and then just get the heat on it and just heat it up yeah. gently. And that would bend like butter. Uh, yes, it's aluminium though, so it'll be a nightmare to warm up because it just dissipates heat like yeah. Mm. I think we can probably bend it back straight using brute force and ignorance. And a forklift? No, no, we just do it here <laughs> by just... To be honest, if we, hit, if we tap these up so they're square on the bottom, because to be honest, they've only knocked it out of true... I think that you've got an ability to put a piece of levering device in there to lever it over. These have stayed straight. Yeah. And the other Easy. one I've got to figure out is where the hell the lights were. Yeah, that's the... That's the... No. Yeah, I did, I did. That's side markers, is it? That's the side marker lights up here. That's fine. That's a return. So they must have had lights there, under the bottom of the... Ah, right, yeah. Because the famous thing where you recover it, they haven't got fold-down lights. No. Because they always get broken. And they, and they don't look like they were on top, and I hate the ones that sit on top. They look awful. Yeah. So we're going to have to try and tuck lights under the back of the body. And then we need to attend to some ramps, because they've got sprouted legs and gone walking. They're not in there? Oh, no, they're not, are they? No, no, it did say in the advert they weren't, so I'm not feeling robbed. So I want a nice set of ramps. Not aluminium. Well, we can have aluminium ones, but they're really expensive. And they always get stolen. Yeah. Yeah. We'll just have some of them Eiffel Williams type punch deck ones because I don't think we'll be that weight critical. Hopefully, we should actually have a three and a half ton recovery truck. I reckon we can get it under two. Mm -hmm. If I can get my four six my four six tonner, which is out the back with a big alley body on it, but it's all alley at twenty two sixty. Then in theory, this 
is much lighter and we might be able to get that under two, uh, two of the tons which means it'll actually be able to carry a 15, eight, well, if we get 1800 kilos then we can actually put a car on it. Yeah. Well if you think a new Mini's two ton. Cool. It would be nice to have a two ton, but I don't think we'll get to a ton and a half, but we'll have worked that out at the time. So, this doesn't look to me bad. No. And they, luckily enough, they haven't damaged any of the cross braces. All the damage is on these, these folded alley chassis sections. Yeah. And I mean, the only force really on them is downward. There's no tow bar on the thing. And, and if there was, it wouldn't be hanging off the body anyway. No. Might need a tow bar, because obviously, no, it needs to be able to like a wagon train you yeah. know what i'm like three I'm cars like. three cars at a time yeah i think that will work really well yeah and i think to be honest i reckon here uh, it's weather i mean that is i don't think that's broken there i think that's two pieces no, no, of no, aluminium it's, joined. it's two joined together and it's just the weld snuck by the side of the weld whether um, it's even worth trying to weld it i mean we can alley weld it we got the the uh, alley mig we're gonna have I mean, to mean on this on this side obviously double, he's had some double yeah they I mean there's some proper birds not going on there yeah um so we could just plate it bolt it because it i mean to be honest it shouldn't frack well, it shouldn't spot, move once, once it's down, down it shouldn't, it shouldn't move shouldn't no i mean you'd expect it if it was going to break it should have broken here yeah so i reckon all that damage is it being taken off a truck yeah or whatever accident happened to the unit because he was in an a, a asm or whatever the other car breakers and i'm assuming that perhaps it had a but i would assume if that was the case then these wheel arches mm, yeah, would have done, well, unless, been... unless it, it got tipped over i mean it could be a multitude of things could have had an accident with the car on the back might have been enough to shift the body yeah and there's no way of knowing i don't think it was their wagon it's too small so i mean i would assume that it came in as a breaker I mean, it's obviously been clobbered somehow but i'm quite yeah those see those welds aren't bad they're quite nice but some of the i mean that one there is horrible and that one there looks oh that bit's steel was it well i was just trying to figure out how, oh, an, yeah. how an alley weld was going rusty but that's the ramp pickup look at that look at look, it's, yes it's, <laughs> i mean that that is a big, that big pile of bird shad just there Oh, that's that's. that's oh, I'm gonna forget that. That's, that's professional. That is, like I'm, weld inspectors. Where did yeah. they get? Well, it was like, oh, I'm on shift. It's. <laughs> oh, yeah, because that one, that one there looks a bit better, doesn't it? Yeah. So I don't need to attend to that. But I mean, my favourite is this one here. So where they've, I mean, look at that. See, I could mistaken that for a hedgehog. Uh, yeah, I mean, it does. Do you remember them little models you used to make out? Of, uh, you could make clay cottages and squidges. It looks yeah. like, yeah. That's crap. That one up there is horrible. But <laughs> it at least does literally look that like means a turd. That at least the ramp oh. runner, the ramp runners are steel. Oh, we've we've got another turd on this side, Al. Oh, it must uh. have been the same man. Yeah. He just kept welding at it, so they obviously break there. Why would you not just drill through and bolt it and put a coach bolt up through into the alley section above it? Yeah. Perhaps we were a bit of a window licker. Yeah. I don't think I can say things like that, but then you people know what I mean. Well, he's got a steel half on it, so we've got, what, one, two, so the ramp pickups are steel and the one back section where the ramp, which is fine, so it's got a steel plate in the back. Yeah. But I think that'd be all right. So what we've got to chop off of this, got to remember not to wave around wildly, otherwise people feel sick. So, base, but could you point at the bit we've got calf? Okay, so basically, we're going to come in line with the end of the chassis straight down there yeah chop that chop off this one chop off. That off there so this whole there. section here with this Zup. shitting and yeah. then the overhang will come to here and then it starts to drop down yeah which means we can leave that really badly battered plate in that i didn't paint but no one will be able to see that no and you still get to keep your spare wheel carrier yeah we've got a spare wheel in there that will be almost inaccessible when it's got body on it you imagine that'd be a nightmare wouldn't it uh, yeah the other one is too so it's in the same place <laughs> it's like keeping tradition and then you can see the um you can see the overzealous forklift driver dent people and then the fact that they broke it there and then they broke it there but none of that is particularly great worry because that weld there is pretty bad that one up there is horrible 
and then they bent it there and broken it there. But that's fine. We can fix all of that, can't we? Yeah. And then we'll just knock these, put these in, take these off, put them in a vice, train them out. Yeah. There's only that key you used to marry. There's about five of those bent, isn't there? Right. Onward. Onward. Oh, that's where my stupidly big bar is. <laughs> right, Mr. Fudge. So we're going to have a couple of hours on this. And what we're going to need to do? Mm -hmm. Huzzah, zip, zip, zip. Yep. Buzz, buzz. I think if we quickly whip the ones off so that he's bent. Yeah. And then while we're stood here, try and see if there's any way of bending these back where they should be without landing the body on you. Actually, that might have been more successful than I was expecting it to be. Because that just seems to that have bent back. Just, yeah. Hey man. Du, 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 du. The power of fat. <laughs> the power of fat skull. Right. Uh, yes, that's just pulled it past these wells, isn't it? Yeah. Not again. Fat, fat is power. Yeah. Fucking repaired on that much. Yeah. Right, so what right. we need now is a big hammer. Actually, should we go more sensibly, not use the biggest hammer a man can find. Yeah. Get a medium-sized hammer and this piece of bar that I've got here. And see if we right, can... Let's get some G-clamps. I was thinking that. Because the last thing you want is for that bar to resonate through your fingers and that would be and that. the last thing we want is to knock the body off the ramp. And that. And that. Ba, 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 ba. Oh, there's definite slurpage going on there. You having a slurpage situation? <laughs> <laughs> this looks like one of those... Well, I reckon basically we mark this and cut it off. It's like because I mean all it's got to miss is this, isn't it? It's like the body, um, it's the ramp holders. I want a proper G clamp. That's, that's one of them rubbish things that Dave left us. I reckon that'll probably do it. Do it as well as my beaten to death, missing the end, mashed up rubbish G clamp. I've got now. We have got a selection of proper G-clamps somewhere. We can get that over there. Can you un unclamp it a little bit so we're moving it out? Let's come back and go there. Clamp, clamp her back up again. We can unbend it. Let's go find a proper G-clamp that's not broken. <laughs> I must have 20 of them. I don't know what I've done with them. You know when you remember hanging something in a safe place? Yeah. Oh, there's, there, somewhere around here are like 20 proper G-clamps hung in a safe place. Uh-huh. Because my father gave me a load of them. He was doing the woodworky stuff on his poor Miss Parkinson's. He couldn't do the woodworky stuff anymore. He's like, oh, you might as well have these G-clamps. And I was like, yes, they'll come in useful. Obviously, been welding on the end of this one for some reason that'll make it work much better. It might actually be on that trolley over there. Well, we should be able to get away with this one because it is. The nice thing with being the aluminiums is it, um, it's relatively easy to reshape. Yeah. Almost too easy to reshape. Takes all the fun out of it. Now we've got your other plastic oh, speed a, clamp a, thing, but not a. I'll just go and give that a tap. If I get me really okay. sensible, damn. Yes. Yeah. That's the really, really tiny sensible tappy hammer. I'll stay there. Yes. Repaired. And, uh, fixed it. Some of it. So. I think that's the fellow, you know the one that was do, do, drilling all those water holes the other day? Mm -hmm. 
All the planning permission thingy. Mm. He seems to be wandering around out there. Not that it's his fault they want to build a housing estate on us. No. Oh, He's actually quite a nice chap. Oh, yeah, you know, well, we weren't blaming him for it. No. So, that's those two straightened. Mm hmm. Well, I think this one needs to come over a bit more, really. Oh, yes. Where's me big ugly bar? I've lost it now. Uh, it's over here. Yeah, it just actually this whole thing needs to be leaving over. Yeah. Well, that needs to be going, that's why. I shout when it's up, I'll be dinking it there. What do you reckon? Not too bad. If you go, if you go to this point here, yeah, and heave on that because he's got a bit of a V in there. Go on, give it some beans. Yeah, dented it again. I've now undented it again. Mm-hmm. So, what we like down this one looks. Oh, he's twisted now, isn't he? Cast your eye, Mr. Fudge. Yeah. It's bent here, isn't it? There's a dent, dent there where they hit it with something. Yeah. It's the overzealous walk they've drawn that. I'm going to need a bigger hammer. What? Technical adjusting stick. Just put the dent slightly the other way. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's pretty good. Back here a bit. Uh, this way a bit more. If you come in there, I reckon. Yeah. Huh? Yes. And then we need to bend this to suit that, don't we? I reckon we're going to have to reattach that somehow to... Mind you, once he's, once he's kind of bolted down... Once he's bolted down, we can... And then pull it, all, pull it all in, that should, theoretically... Straighten yeah, it all out, and then we just reinforcement reinforce yeah, it almost gone a little much yeah i reckon he wants to go that way a bit but to be honest as you say until it's actually bolted on a lorry mm. once it is bolted on a lorry there is a big dent just there <laughs> where's the whopper they put in it which is there, That's I think, it. It's never going to come back quite as it should be. Mm, it's a shame. It's up there, isn't it? no, it's not bad. No, that's sort of. That's what I've done that bit of sort of structural work just there, which isn't totally. Well. Mm. Mm -hmm. What I could sort of do with is a bit of wood. I saw the appropriate piece of wood. There's, a bit, there's a bit down there, Al. That bit down here. Yeah, that looks about right. Mm. Oh. Getting there to hit it. I might have to live with that. That's it on there. I think that'll have to do. We're going to do more damage than we're doing good. Mm -hmm. 
right. Okay. I've lost my tea again. <laughs> Let's put it over here. <coughs> um, bum, 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 bum. So we need to get these mounts off, don't we? Yeah. I reckon if you just cut through there and we wiggle, they'll break there and leave those spot welds, yeah. which is fine because they're hardly, say, beaten on them. Yeah. But I didn't really paint. Do we rip saw or do we get a posh and angle grind? Probably better off angle grinding, aren't we? Yeah. We've got some discs. Yeah, we've got some discs. Oh. Right, extension lead. Angle grinder, stop using Eric's truck to put things on. Do, 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 do. Nicely stored. I did a good job of storing this extension lead. You rolled that up I rolled really that up well. Badly, really badly. Right, so chop that bit off. Safety squints. There are Safety some goggles. Boots. Squints. Good, good. Safety boots. The amount of people have had email me about you and your trainers. And in theory, I should be lecturing you more as technically your employer that you could crush your feet and you should really. In the 33 years of me working on cars, Al, yeah, but, yeah, 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 I've look, never yeah, once broke it, broken a toe with a spanner. Well, I know, I know, but on or the Or dropped an engine. Or on your foot, or mm. stuff, yes, but perhaps I'll just get you some safety toe cap trainers. Yeah, that'll work. You know what I mean? I don't actually think I'm in the... No, I'm not. These aren't my safety toe cap ones. So. Oh, are they not? No. Oh. <laughs> I have got what I have done normally. In. Right. Um, okay. You sure you, you're quite happy? It's a chop front off. We'll snap back off. Yeah. Right. Well, I'll leave you. I'm going to move this Titan, this top quality Titan Pro choppy saw that I've got here. Okay. I'll leave you to it. All righty. Here we go. to a point where we sort of think it's straight enough to drop on then we can get everything lined up and attend to it yeah so we need to back this bit under that bit and drop that bit on this bit and then see what she looks like yeah so i'm going to attempt to get over here without knocking me back window out because it's yeah it's a bit sketchy yeah, I'll be all right. yeah. i've got loads of back windows anyway yeah but you don't want to replace it well 
<laughs> gently, gently. Right, Fudgy. Do you want me on the button? Or well, do you want me to do the button? You, we, you, can you do crayons? I, I like chewing on crayons. crayons. You do crayons, you can do buttons. Okay. Yeah, it's the same. <laughs> What's the worst that could possibly happen? Well, let's just right. fish, fish that plug out of my electrics now, because that needs to, that stays there. That's it. Go okay. for it, Fudge. Right, keep an eye on that front for me, yeah? Yeah, I will do it. I'll stand here. Okay. Going down. <laughs> Go on then, keep going. Yeah, keep going, just drop her on there. We're gonna have to shunt it around anyway, aren't we? Alright. I think we've got enough to drop it on there, haven't we? I think so. We look right. at the, Drop it on there, Fudge. Okay, here we go. Yep. That's the front holes lined up. That's pretty much the back lined up. It's pretty much like he's pretty much square. All right, she, all right, she's on there, isn't she? Yeah. Yeah, back's got to go your way a bit, apparently. According to this. Yeah, that's my rear hole lined up. Yeah, we're good here. Right. What we're going to have to do now is acquire a load. Bolts. Of stainless steel nuts and bolts, save so using a load of shit old ones I've got in a bucket over there. You mean we're not going to tech screw it on? Well, I was thinking sticky <laughs> plast. Sticky plast. Keep your weights down. That actually fits. What's it? No, it's definitely all right my side. So you can see the old. Yeah, it wants, wants to come my way. I think, yeah. Ooh, ooh. Oh, yeah, it does, doesn't it? Back there? That looks pretty good. Right. So what we need to do is bolt it up and then try and... I think we bolt it up so it's square and then we can work because we can get to those broken bits can we yeah they might be on a wheel isn't they <coughs> so i think rather than trying to weld it or <coughs> he said coughing repair it i may need to change on the rear leaf springs you know because i have got these super super heavy duty rear leaf springs on it at the moment mm. She's, she's a bit chucked up, it's isn't gonna, she? Well, yeah, it's, 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 it's <laughs> like three miles out of the arch, isn't it? It's like you're continuously driving downhill. Yeah, I mean, that might be all right. It depends how it's going to ride, isn't it? Well, I suppose and try it. Approach angles, but we're not really worried about approach angles because we don't do the little dainty low cars, do we? No. I mean, we don't actually need this thing at all because we've got a load of bigger recovery trucks, but that's not the point. It's not the point. It would look good with sign writing. It'll look shiny. We need cut and polish it. We even got a free tow rate. Oh. One of them um, AA ones I know. It's that Ooh. hook. Ooh. That'll last all of about two minutes. <laughs> it's like Baylor twine. And then we're going to have to see if that functions. But we're taking it off anyway. But I want the winch box, probably. Yeah. I'll maybe just sign mind up whether I'm going to have a... And then we need to work on. Yeah, we'll strengthen that up. Yeah, I think that'd be all right. Yes. I don't like the fact the flyer's like three foot behind the cab. That's a bit odd, actually, isn't it? Because there's quite a big gap between the back of the cab and the... Uh... That is, isn't it? We could always adjust that. 
if we're going to strengthen it up, we could strengthen it up. Mm, the trouble is that we'd have to do something with the front of the body, wouldn't we? That's to, oh, I know why that is. That's why it looks weird. Ah. Oh. Of course it does, because there's these two, isn't there? I don't know how these two work. Ah. It's got these sort of funny... Uh, how on earth does that hold in there, then? They go in like... That's why it's got these runovers, isn't it? Sit in there. That's really awkward. How are you supposed to make that work then? I like that. I think we're the other way up, hang on. That's the wrong side. Ah. Uh, I reckon that's your one. There you go. Uh, like, longer side up, so they sit in that pickup row. Oh, damaging the paintwork. Go in here. Uh huh. It, that sits there, look. God, oh, that's not gonna. That sort of fits. Yes. <laughs> fits, fits. Top's on. Top's oh. on. Lovely. Right, so things to attend to, Mr. Fudge. Need to figure out where the lights go. Under the back. Yeah. Need to replace on these side marker lights because they're offending me. That Ye one's broken. Yeah. So we'll get some better ones of those. Are you going to stay the same colour? Yeah, you've got to have orange side marker lights. Okay. I've got purple ones, but I don't think they're legal. Okay. Um, toolboxes. Side rafes. Yeah. Possible underrun side rafe. Decide on that. Um, sort the wobbly flyer. Yeah. Take those horrible spot lamps off and sort the wiring, because that's also offending me. Yeah. Straighten the things up the front. Check winches. Truck-wise, back brakes are stuck on again. But that's only through being sat here in bits. But that's its original axle, different chassis. We know all the stuff we've done to it. Yeah. Um, I think she's all serviced up. She could do with a run because it smokes like a train at the moment. But it has been it's sat been around sat here ticking over forever. We need to attend to wheels. I quite like the colour of those wheels, but it is all falling off. Mm. So we've got to decide what colour paint the wheels. I think we paint them the same colour as the truck in the middle and maybe a white outside edge. It'll take a load of faffing around. I don't want alleys because I don't think it'll look Actually, right. Actually, the two-tone looks pretty cool. I think cool. we go a bit Dutch. Yeah, so white, white rim, green centre. White rim, green centre. Go a bit sort of T1, tarted up from the like. I like your thinking, thing. Al. Yeah. I like your thinking. Decide whether we keep the massive leaf springs on the back. I mean, ideal for a bit of overloading, painful for daily driving. <laughs> And seeing as we're trying to be sensible, I mean, yeah. to be honest, we don't actually need this truck. It is purely a toy. Because we've got four other ones that are bigger. But it will come in handy. I think it's a, as a whiz around, as a yard runner, we'll get it sign written, decide whether we get Derek to make us some stickers to go on the doors. Because mm -hmm. he does that type of thing. He does vehicle graphics. Yeah. Or we get a sign writer out to paint this and the Peugeot, because the, obviously the Peugeot. There is a video on the Peugeot. I took it home and back. I know you crazy. That's why I was. Crazy. Yeah, that was quite brave. <laughs> it was improving all the way home. And have, has it actually lost that knocky knock? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty all much gone. She's gone. Yeah, I came in this morning at forty-five mile an hour. Jeez. I was flying until some in you know, a Land Rover towing a horse. No, cattle trailer decided to drive along in front of me at thirty. The trouble was, I didn't have enough of the horse powers to lap him. And I wasn't confident in my horse powers for napping him. <laughs> One being left-hand drive, I'd have had to have got right out there to decide that I was going and then drop a cog and stand there alongside of him going. So we just, we just followed the farmer man all the way to the roundabout at the top. No. But anyway, that's another video. Yeah. So what I'm going to do, lights, bolts. We're going to need some body bolts, stainless ones. We're going to mm -hmm. have to tidy that bit of structural member up. Yeah, because we cut the edges off of it and it'll be open steel now. So yeah, we'll yeah. do that again. And then I think weldy wise, we take these wheel arches off, bolt her down, grind it back, cut it, acetone it. And I think we can alley mig weld that or alley. I'll do for that. Alley mig. Alley mig. Rather than trying to TIG it. Mm -hmm. um, 
Yeah, my, um, I've not ticked for about 20 years. No, my TIG welding isn't very good. I'm quite good with an alley. We've got a spool gun for the little welder that'll mm. do for that. We don't need to find a big one up. Um, and I reckon then it's MOT prep and I'll have to find the logbook. And we've got to line the doors up because they've been offending me for months. Yeah. So I just throw them on there once I painted it and the door gaps are horrific. Yeah, no, And the driver's door that. sort of is a second attempt shut. But my, all of that is easy. The seat cement, the truck's really good. And then we need to clean it, steam it. Wax oil it all once it's finally done, and here is our new wagon. Yeah, I don't know what we're going to do. Wagon. Yeah, just just a, literally a, another thing to tax. Well, it'll look nice out the front. Yeah, well, yes, yes. Well, apart from all the shit, we've got parked down there already because you can't. Yeah, we can shift that out of the way, can't yeah, we? Yeah, yeah. So anyway, thank you very much. We shall see you Sunday. 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 And then we'll probably be back on this next week, I reckon. I reckon so. It's not going to take us very long at all, is no, it? No, no, this is quite a short video, but at least you know where we're going and we've chopped some bits off of it and then we'll go again next week and again the week after and then, in theory, we might be somewhere near as long as I don't run out of money for bits that I need. Mm-hmm. Right. Thank you very much. Al, Fudge, 60 Diesels.